and move through this. And I want to take a moment. First of all, my name is Dave Smith. I'm the Associate Chair of the Department of Environmental Sciences. And I want to take a moment to welcome all the faculty, staff, students, their family members, and departmental friends to this 2021 award ceremony. This has been a very strange year. The pandemic, the online classes, the transfer from Clark to our home, various homes, the Zoom meetings, wow. And while this year has, been, has brought a lot of not so good news for many people, it also has spotlighted the resiliency of our academic community. And um, in fact, it's more than resiliency in, in our department. It's allowed us to, uh, because we, we want, we can, and we have striven for excellence and success. And today we're going to celebrate that excellence and success. Um, so today, um, first of all, I want to take care of a little bit of bookkeeping. Um, I'm not, I'm, Howie, I'm seeing you only, so I don't know whether I guess I'm coming across or not, but um, Cindy Allen for the award winners who will be getting certificates and cash as a result of the ceremony today. Cindy Allen, our departmental secretary, will be sending you all a note on Monday with that uh, relevant information. So stay tuned. Today we're going to do the recognitions. And, um, you know, I've had the opportunity over the past four years and this year as well to get to know many of these award winners myself. And I have to tell you that given everything else that faculty have to deal with in our lives, the interactions we have with, with our students are real special. And they really are what encourage, I think, and motivate a lot of uh, faculty to continue what they do. So from that perspective, I wanna personally reach out and thank all the, um, the students who are with us today for their involvement with our department and enriching at least my life and I believe most of the other faculty's lives as well. Today, we're going to hear from Bob Davis. He is our chairman of our undergraduate academic review committee. He will be recognizing our undergraduate award winners. Following um, Professor Davis's remarks, we'll be hearing from Kevin Grice who will be representing the Graduate Academic Review Committee, and he will be awarding the graduate awards. And after that, um, Howie, who was our chair for the department, will be providing a, uh, some special recognition to some special departmental awards. And with that, I wanna welcome you all to our virtual 2021 award ceremony. And uh, Bob, you wanna take it from here? Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, Dave. Um, I, as Dave mentioned, I'm the uh, current chair of the, um, what's called the Director of Undergraduate Programs. And it's been my pleasure to uh, do that for the past few years and <clears throat> really to get to know uh, many of the students who are um, our undergraduates who are getting awards uh, today. So um, before I get started, I want to thank the my committee uh, this year that consisted of uh, Tom Smith, who is also the director of the um, uh, Distinguished Majors program that I'll be talking about in just a second, uh, Todd Scanlon and Ajay LeMay. We had, uh, I think the year went very smoothly and seamlessly with uh, those folks on board, so thanks to all of you. Okay, so uh, to get things started, I'm going to begin by mentioning that uh, we had some um, students who were involved in the undergraduate research symposium that took place in mid-April. Uh, it includes projects from uh, disciplines uh, throughout the college. And we had four environmental sciences students who presented posters at that symposium. And I wanted to recognize in, uh, those students for their work. They are uh, Jacob Bushy for his poster titled Observing Ozone Effects on Transpiration, Carbon Assimilation, and Photosynthesis by Perturbing uh, to Model Diffusive Resistance, uh, mentored by Sally Pusetti. Another student involved with the symposium was Riley Crow. The topic was Marine Heat Wave Effects on the Germination and Molecular Response of Eelgrass, mentored by Karen Glathery. Kendall Hanks, who worked on time series data from gliders in Bermuda, mentored by Scott Doney. And finally, Magnolia Matthews, 
Her project was the UVA SWO Partnership for Rangeland Ecology and Education, mentored by Howie Epstein. So uh, congratulations to all of you for your uh, work uh, and research over the past uh, months to years on that, so you could present your research. Okay, so this morning, um, we held a distinguished major symposium for our students who are working with the Distinguished Majors Project. Uh, these students have been working for a year and in some cases, multiple years on research projects. And today was the culmination of that effort. Now to be in the DMP program, you have to have an overall GPA of at least 3.4. And um, I think you're going to see as they go on through the course of the day, we have some really outstanding students who have really accomplished tremendous amount of things in the classroom and outside of the classroom doing research. These students also were involved in at least 12 hours of advanced work um, that involved six hours of uh, thesis work and six hours or more of classwork that was related to their thesis project. So um, we saw everyone's thesis defenses this morning. Um, normally we would have a larger cohort of students, but certainly because of COVID and uh, the closing of labs and field facilities. Our numbers are down this year, but I think it's a tremendous accomplishment that we had four outstanding students who all gave tremendous presentations this morning, and I wanted to acknowledge them now. So first uh, was Selena Cheng. The title of her thesis is Seascape Features and Habitats, Structure Blue Crab Abundance on Several Spatial Scales, and Selena was advised by Max Castorani. We also have Riley Crow. Title uh, of the talk, uh, or the, the re research was Marine Heat Wave Effects on the Germination and Molecular Response of Eelgrass, Slastera Marina, advised by Karen McGlathery and Carolyn Ewers. Congratulations, Riley. Third, we have Sarah Lang. Her work was modeling coastal water clarity using Landsat 8 and Sentinel-2, advised by Max Castrani and Scott Doney. I will do this numerous times during the talk because my light will go out probably six times before I'm done. Congratulations, Sarah. And finally, we have Jacob Slauson, just a bump in the road, assessing the influence of topographic relief on Cordilleran Ice sheet flow from deglaciated landscapes, advised by Lauren Simpkins. Jacob. So congratulations to Jacob and to um, all of our DMP candidates this year. Um, I can say that the, uh, my, our, the committee was um, uniformly impressed with the quality, not only of your talks today, but of your written presentation. So. Uh, work well done over the past uh, year or two for everyone. Congratulations. Okay, next up, I'm going to announce the winners of a variety of different awards that have been funded in the department. Um, first up is the Mike Garstang Atmospheric Sciences Award, which is given to the best undergraduate atmospheric science students um, who is graduating, who has four years in the university. The recipient uh, gets $500, and this year's winner of the Garstang Award was Celeste Tong. Now, um, Celeste was not in residence this semester. She is, in fact, at home in China, where it is now 4.09 a.m., <laughs> and uh, Celeste decided that she didn't want to wake up to hear me announce her name. It's certainly understandable, but at least it's a half a demerit for that, so uh, when, when we see Celeste, she will be back this summer, I believe. We'll congratulate her. Um, she literally took every atmospheric science class that we offer. So she really did a tremendous job. Okay. Um, the next winner, um, the next uh, award is the Malin G. Kelly Prize. Malin was a, a faculty member here in the department for over 20 years. He retired in 1993. Uh, Professor Kelly was an outstanding teacher. He did some notable work in aquatic ecology res with respect particularly to river productivity. He wrote texts on computer language and did outstanding service to the undergraduate advising in the department. 
He was also initial in, uh, uh, instrumental in initiating early efforts at crossing disciplinary lines between ecology, hydrology, meteorology, and working toward fulfilling the purpose of the department. Um, I knew uh, uh, Malin when he was here for the first sort of four or five years when I was an assistant professor. And what was most notable to me about Malin was he had the largest key ring that I have ever seen. It, it probably weighed about 20 pounds. Uh, and I have no idea what all those keys were for, but he had a key for them. So, which is a reminder that for all of you uh, undergraduates out there, uh, please return your keys to Elizabeth because <laughs> she's been bothering you all week about that. Okay, back to the uh, back to my script. <laughs> In recognition of his work with undergraduates, this award is for undergraduate ecology student who has the best overall four-year record at the university. The award is for five hundred dollars, and this year's winner of the Malin Kelly Prize is Sarah Cox. Yay, Sarah! You're sad spotlighted. Sarah, I'm going to say some nice things about you now. Um, she's a fourth year student graduating with a Bachelor of Sciences degree in Environmental Sciences. She has an exceptional 3.95 GPA. She has one B plus on her transcript. And because I couldn't help myself, I had to go see what course that was in. It was in Calculus 2. So don't ask her to integrate any kind of equations. Otherwise, she'll, she knows everything about everything else, presumably. <laughs> a B plus is actually about just fine, so you'll live. I don't want to tell you what my grades were in, in hydrology. So, <laughs> um, Sarah went above and beyond our requirements, taking 34 upper level credits in environmental sciences, and she had 58 total in sci credits. I think she even took some classes that we don't offer and got credit for them. Um, she's a member of the College Science Scholars, and she participated in a rangeland ecology project on the tall grass prairie of South Dakota. Sarah, congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, next up, good spotlighting there, Howie, that worked great. Okay, next up is the Wilbur Nelson Award. The Wilbur Nelson Award goes to an outstanding undergraduate student majoring uh, in the department with a focus on geosciences. The award is for $500, and the 2021 Wilbur Nelson Award winner is Sarah Lang. Thank you so much. Thank Sarah, you. there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll <laughs> talk back in. Let, let me back say in. a few embarrassing things about you now. Um, <laughs> sure. She's a, a college science scholar, and she has shined at UVA in both her academic achievements and scholarly research in geosciences. She has earned nearly all A's within the major and has been honored recently by the Raven Society. Congratulations. In her time at UVA, Sarah analyzed Antarctic sediment cores with Professor Simpkins and studied Arctic glaciology during a study abroad course in Iceland. Over the past two years, she's been working on DMP thesis, which you just heard about with Professors Castorani and Doni to develop new models of coastal water quality from satellite imagery and to validate them using long-term field records. Sarah's commitment to research has been remarkable. She obtained funding for her work with a scholarship from the Virginia Space Grant. She then went above and beyond to train herself in remote sensing, scientific programming, and statistical modeling. Incredibly, she taught herself how to process satellite imagery, code in R, and MATLAB, and fit nonlinear models all over the course of a single summer. So um, all you undergraduates out there looking for something to do for the summer, you talk to Sarah, she'll give you some things to focus on. That's a very productive summer. So good work on that. She's going to uh, hopefully be submitting her thesis for publication in a peer-reviewed journal uh, over the course of the summer. Uh, when she's not doing research, and apparently she does have some spare time uh, uh, over her summers, she enjoys hiking, painting, and engaging the public about climate change. She was one of the founders of the Right Climate Club, which uses art to build awareness and community. And after graduating, Sarah's pursuing a PhD in oceanography at the University of Rhode Island, where she will expand her remote sensing skills to study ocean carbon cycling using satellite data. Congratulations on your great work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Okay, next up is the Unnamed Hydrology Award. It will be in the future, sometime in the future, called the Scanlon Hydrology Award once he cashes in his Bitcoin. 
But until that happens, it will be the unnamed hydrology award. Um, this award is for the undergraduate hydrology student who has established the best overall four-year record at the university. The amount of the award is $500. And this year's hydrology award winner is Wayne Dawson. There you are, Wayne, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Wayne. Wayne is one of the top students in the program. He's receiving the BS degree and he achieved a grade point average of 3.97 in his major and 3.91 overall. Amazingly consistent work uh, in your classwork. Wayne is not only completing the undergraduate program in environmental sciences, but he's well on his way to earning a master's degree as well. His coursework includes advanced courses in geoscience, hydrology, and ecology. And while his graduate work is in ecology, studying with Howie Epstein, his performance in upper level hydrology courses earned him this year's award as the most outstanding undergraduate in hydrology. So a lot of uh, good work in multiple areas there, Wayne. He enjoys playing video games, but he certainly this has not distracted him from his outstanding performance in his courses and research. So Wayne, congratulations on this award. All right, next up, we have the Wallace Pool Prize. This is awarded each year to the outstanding undergraduate major in environmental sciences. The award goes to the student who's graduating, um, who is judged to be the most outstanding in the class. The, pool, the prize was established in honor of the contributions of Mr. Wayne Wallace and Colonel Sidman Poole to the university and to our program here in the department. Mr. Wallace was a member of the faculty of the Dep Department of Geography from 1946 to 1969 and of the Department of Environmental Sciences from 1969 until he retired in 1977. Colonel Poole was the first chair of the Department of Geography, known initially as the Virginia Geographic Institute. And he served in that capacity from 1946 until his death in 1955. The amount of the award is $500. And this year's winner of the Wallace Poole Prize is Selena Cheng. There you are. Congratulations, oh, wow. Selena. Thank you. <laughs> Selena's academic excellence and research achievements place her among the very best students to graduate from our department. She is pursuing a double major in English and environmental sciences. I love that combination, by the way. It's really good. Despite the rigorous course load, Selena has maintained a distinguished academic record, earning a near perfect 3.98 GPA. I think you're seeing the theme here. We have a lot of students who are just doing outstanding classwork. Selena pursued several research opportunities while at UVA. Under the guidance of Professor Galloway, she studied nitrogen use efficiency in vegetable crops and nutrient footprints for UVA sustainability scenarios. She also completed a summer research project at the Virginia Coast Long Reserve Long-Term Ecological Research Site, the LTER site, to understand how blue crabs are affected by changes in coastal vegetation and bathymetric features. Selena's summer research with Professor Castorani would evolve into a DMP thesis, you heard the title before, as she incorporated remote sensing, GIS, and statistical modeling into her study. Later this month, Selena will submit her thesis for peer review publication, hopefully. Among her other achievements are admission to an ocean change biology REU at Santa Barbara, um, at the University of California, Santa Barbara, an honorable mention for best student talk at a marine ecology meeting, and the Trout Unlimited Award from our department for her work on blue crab fisheries. Those who have the, had the privilege of meeting Selena know that she is also passionate about ultimate frisbee and is the captain of UVA women's team. So after graduation, she will continue her contributions to LTER research as a technician at the Tulik Lake Field Station in Northern Alaska. At each turn, Selena's talents and dedication have exceeded expectations. Selena is highly deserving of the Wallace Pool Prize and is a shining example of the best our department has to offer. Congratulations, Selena. Thank you very much. Okay, we have the Trout Unlimited Award established by the Thomas Jefferson Chapter of Trout Unlimited. It is for significant contributions to research concerning cold water fisheries or related ecosystems. The award is for $500. And this year's Trout Unlimited Award winner is Catherine Schlachter. Congratulations, Catherine. Okay, right? 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Our first introduction to Kay was when she took Jim Galloway's EVSC 1080 Resources in the Environment class in fall 2018. She was fully engaged and received the highest grade in the class. Turns out that this is her normal behavior. For in all of her time at UVA, she has never received anything below an A with almost as many A plus grades as A grades. So when you get an A, you're disappointed. Is that the way it works? No, I didn't really expect you to answer that question. Um, during the 2019-2020 academic year, she worked with the Shenandoah Watershed Study to develop a protocol to sample microplastics in stream water. In her pilot study, microplastics were found in all seven samples that were collected in Shenandoah National Park streams. Her sampling protocol was deployed just last week on a much larger scale when over 450 trout streams in Western Virginia were sampled. This will allow us, the research community, to better understand the extent of microplastic pollution, which has been shown to be harmful to fish populations. In conclusion, Kay is an extraordinary student whose research is already making an impact. Congratulations, Kay. Thank you so much. Next up, we have the Bloomer Award. So Dr. Richard Bloomer graduated from the university's geology department in 1941. Dr. Bloomer always felt a strong indebtedness to the university for giving him an excellent education in geology and for making it financially possible with loans, scholarships, and assistantships. In recognition of the university's support in 1996, he established the Richard Rodier Bloomer Endowment Fund to provide scholarships to second, third, or fourth year students in the department. Recipients of the Bloomer Scholarship shall be highly motivated in their studies and shall have shown marked academic improvement during their years of study at the University of Virginia. Now, this award is in the amount of $1,800, and this year's Bloomer Award winner is Henry Chin. Hey, hey, Henry. Henry is finishing his second year at UVA and has declared the BS major in environmental sciences. He currently has a GPA of 3.93, only one B plus, I forgot to check your transcript, so I'll assume it was in philosophy or something like that, um, including um, several A pluses, including one in the fundamentals of geology. He has already taken several upper level geosciences courses. He is an active member of the College Science Scholars Program. And this semester, he began assisting with lab research. And this summer, he will take, he will work on a rangeland ecology project with data collected from tall grass prairie ga grazing sites, excuse me, in South Dakota. And I have a feeling that in future years, we might be seeing Henry space or in person, hopefully, at one of these award ceremonies. Uh, congratulations, Henry, on the Bloomer Award. Thank you all so, so, so much. I did not expect this, but I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Richard Scott Mitchell Award. Mr. Richard Scott Mitchell was a longtime member in the environmental sciences faculty and an earlier, earlier a member of the, and chairman of the geology department at UVA. Following his untimely death in 1988, this undergraduate scholarship has been established in his name. The Mitchell Award provides $1,800 to a rising fourth year undergraduate majoring in the department of environmental sciences with a focus on geosciences. Applicants for the Mitchell scholarship must have achieved intermediate honors and completed the following coursework, fundamentals of geology, two other advanced courses in geosciences, hopefully including either mineralogy or petrology. The scholarship can be used during the student's fourth year or applied toward tuition in graduate school if they're going to a program with a geosciences focus. So as I mentioned, the award is for $1,800 and this year's winner is Jacob Slauson. Jake Slauson. Oh, I'm, I'm very surprised. Thank you so much. Good. Always like surprises. Jake, uh, uh, this award is for outstanding involvement in geoscience research and excellence in academics. He has worked with Dr. Simpson, uh, Simpkins, excuse me, uh, Lauren, and uh, Marion McKenzie, his graduate student mentor since the spring of 2020 semester on the deglaciated landscape of coastal Washington State and British Columbia to assess how isolated regions of positive topographic relief impacted ice flow on the now extinct Cordilleran ice sheet. He has continued this research as part of the DMP program, resulting in a thesis that you heard about before, and he hopes to submit for publication later this year. 
Through his research, he has delved into the fields of glaciology, geomorphology, and sedimentology, and made use of geotechnical data collected by the U.S. Geological Survey, publicly available LIDAR data, and a range of geospatial techniques. His aptitude to engage in scholarly discussions, take on initiative with his research direction, and formulate sound interpretations are on par with a late stage graduate student. This achievement is impressive given that he will graduate with a BS in environmental sciences in three years instead of the typical four. Outside of studies and research, Jake enjoys running. He just recently completed a 50K race and has been a vital volunteer for the Saturday series an educational program that combines art, science, technology, engineering, and math for kindergarten through sixth grade students in the Charlottesville, Almoral County area. Jake is continuing his scholarly journey as an incoming MS student in the Department of Geology and Geological Engineering at Colorado School of Mines. He will be missed at UVA, but he has a bright future ahead of him at uh, Colorado and beyond. So congratulations again, Jake. Thank you. Yeah, it's actually a PhD, but Oh, even better. Thanks. Okay. All right. We have the Hart Family Award for Undergraduate Research in Environmental Sciences. This is a award um, supports research for a student conducting a supervised research project. It can be used for direct expenses and for a stipend uh, for research that will be conducted between May 1st and April 30th of 20 uh, next year. Student must be a full-time undergraduate who is declared major in the environmental sciences. Now, this award is for $5,000. And the winner of the Hart Family Award for Undergraduate Research in 2021 is Sophie Wong. Sophie, congratulations. Thank you so much. So the project is the UVA SWO Partnership in Rangeland Ecology, Research and Education. Her advisor is Howie Epstein. Sophie is a third year student working toward the BS. She's also an Eccles scholar and a college science scholar with a current GPA of 3.90. She has been involved with several research projects so far during her time at UVA. And she is receiving the Hart Award to continue work that she has been doing on rangeland ecology and education and outreach to high school students on the Lake Traverse, Sisatanwa, Wapiton, Oyate Reservation in South Dakota. And you can correct my pronunciation there. I should have read my text in advance. <laughs> her plan is to use this research for a DMP thesis uh, during her fourth year. Congratulations, Sophie. Thank you. And good pronunciation, actually. Oh, well, good. OK, thank you. <laughs> OK, we have um, announcements for the Harrison Undergraduate Research Awards. This is uh, run by the UVA Office of Undergraduate Research. Um, the Harrison Awards uh, are funds for to allow students to pursue research project over the summer in the course of the following academic year. Research may be conducted in any field. The awards are for up to $4,000, and they must be uh, full-timely enrolled students who are uh, enrolled full-time for the duration of the project. The UVA Office of Undergraduate Research received 62 grant applications this year. And of those uh, applicants, three are environmental sciences majors. And I'm just going to announce the names of the students and their projects. Uh, the, this year, they were uh, the awards went are going to Jacob Bushy, who is an advice sci major in chemistry double major. Project is observing ozone effects on transpiration, carbon assimilation, and photosynthesis by perturbing stomatal diffusive resistance, uh, supervised by Sally Pusetti. We also have an award that went to Davis Coffey, who is a double major in Invisi in English, using underwater soundscapes to quantify methane seepage from seagrass meadows, supervised by Peter Berg. And finally, William B. Miller, who is a double major in biology and Invisi. Project is conservation dynamics of fly wing allometry in seasonal Drosophila populations. Faculty mentor is Alan Berglund. So congratulations to all of the uh, recipients of undergraduate research awards. And finally for me, we have the Double Who Research Grant. Um, the Double Who Grant is, supports pairs of undergraduates and graduate scholars seeking to pursue joint research projects. 
The word is intended to encourage collaborative interaction between undergraduate and graduate communities at the university. Each project is for up to $6,000 that goes towards research expenses. And we have two Invisi student pairs that were selected this year for double who's. They are, the undergraduate was Isabella Dressel, graduate student, Mary Angelique DiMatello, the project assessment of daily Trompomi observations for nitrogen dioxide inequality research. And the second double who was for Medka Prakash, the Visai and statistics double major, a graduate student, Marion McKenzie. Project is titled Glacier, Glacial or Marine, utilizing a novel research approach to characterize stratigraphic units in the Puget Lowland, Washington State. So that ends my portion of the program. Um, it's a pleasure to give out so many awards to so many truly outstanding students. And this is a nice little bow to tie on the end of your careers for those of you who are graduating. Nice way to end of the semester for those of you who are staying with us and pursuing uh, research and uh, scholarship over the coming years. So congratulations to all of you. I'm now going to um, pass the gavel on to Kevin Grice who will be talking about the graduate awards. Take it away, Kevin. All right, thanks, Bob. Uh, thanks everyone for, for your attention. So I'm filling in today for Pat Weiberg, who's our Director of Graduate Studies. Um, and so this is these awards are on behalf of the department as well as the Graduate uh, Academic Review Committee, which is Pat, myself, uh, Shi Wang, and uh, Shi Yang, and uh, Scott Doney. So, okay. Um, all right, so before we present the individual awards for graduate achievement in research, um, we just want to recognize a handful of graduate students that have been instrumental uh, in the department over the last year. So we'd like to thank the graduate students that organized Enviro Day. So as you're probably aware of, Enviro Day is organized by the grad students. It started as the Environmental Sciences Student Research Symposium uh, in 1984. Um, back then, it was a multi-day forum for grad students to present their research to fellow students and faculty. Um, but the event has evolved significantly since that time, um, going to a single day and incorporating undergraduates. And so the research symposium has always been organized and run exclusively by the graduate students. And so this year, Enviro Day was on March 19th. The keynote speaker was Dr. Jeanette Davis, who is a marine scientist at NOAA, as well as a diversity advocate and an author. Uh, and the symposium featured a full day of oral and poster presentations in a virtual format. Um, so grad students also participated in the 2021 Husky Graduate uh, Research Expedition on March the 30th. Um, of the 10 graduate students selected to present talks this year, one was from Environmental Sciences, and that was Jacob Malcolm, whose talk was Ghosts of Emissions Past how 20th century air pollution affects 21st century forest carbon uptake. Uh, we'd also like to recognize Kelsey Hulsman, who's the recipient of an all university graduate teaching award for 2021, which is a very prestigious award. Kelsey was one of 10 recipients of, of the 2021 all university graduate teaching awards given by the Office of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs and the Office of the Provost. The award winners demonstrate excellence in teaching, including a teacher's ability to foster community and connection among their students. Um, Claire Rodenberg and Kelsey Hulsman are, are recipients of the Expand NSF Research Training Fellowships for this year. Um, and finally, Kinsey Tedford is a recipient of a Jefferson Scholars Fellowship. So we'd like to acknowledge all of them for their hard work over an ex research and teaching excellence over the past years that they've been here. Okay, so now it's time to announce the, the awards that people don't know what they are. So these are the awards for graduate achievement. Um, so the first award is the Joseph K. Roberts Award. So this award is given to a student who presents the most meritorious research paper at a national meeting. Uh, the award is $500, and the recipient of the award this year is Morgan Tassone. <laughs> there, 
All right, thank you. So Morgan began in our department as an MA student and then transitioned to the MS program. She's conducting research on tundra vegetation dynamics in Northwestern Siberia using remotely sensed data. Her advisor, Howie Epstein, says that her computational skills are exceptional. And this award is for an outstanding and well-received talk that she gave at the AGU meeting in December. So Morgan is on track uh, for a summer defense of her MS thesis, um, which should lead to several important publications. So let's congratulate Morgan. Thank you. So next award is the uh, Ellison Edmondson Award. So uh, Mr. Robert Ellison was a professor of geology and environmental sciences at UVA for 31 years, retiring in 1990. In 1969, he was the chair of the Department of Geology and played a significant role in the establishment of this department, the Department of Environmental Sciences, which replaced the departments of geology and geography. The other uh, person that that the award is named for is Mr. Edmondson, who was also a chair of the ge geology department prior to Mr. Ellison serving in this position. His name is also associated with his award as he was a mentor to Mr. Ellison during his early years at UVA. So this award, the Ellison Edmondson Award, goes to the graduate student who has excelled in graduate coursework and research that is interdisciplinary in nature. And this is for $500, and the recipient of this year's award is Rong Lee. Thank you. Yep, you're very welcome. So uh, Rong is now a second year PhD student focusing on land atmosphere interactions of carbon fluxes. She uses land surface model and remote sensing observations to simulate the environmental drivers of carbon uptake by terrestrial vegetation. Shi Yang, her advisor, is impressed by her, says that he's impressed by her ability to translate complicated mathematical equations into model simulations. So let's congratulate Rong on her award. Okay, so the next award is the Arthur Pagau Award. This award recognizes the outstanding graduate student who's completed a full year in the department and whose area of interest and focus within environmental sciences is the geosciences. So this is again in the amount of $500 and the recipient of this year's Arthur Pagau Award is Tyler Barnes. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Congratulations. So Tyler is a second year PhD student working on geomorphic change in coastal barrier systems advised by Pat Weiberg. Uh, the focus of Tyler's research is mapping bathymetric change in the Virginia coastal bays using new instrumentation that increases the resolution and repeatability of bathymetric measurements. He has also helped to spearhead an effort to create permanent survey base stations at UVA field stations in collaboration with a faculty member in architecture, which led to a successful three cavalier proposal this spring. So let's congratulate Tyler on his award. Okay, so the next award is the Graduate Award in Ecology. So sponsored by the department, this award recognizes the outstanding graduate student who has completed a full year in the department, whose area of interest and focus within environmental sciences is ecology. So this is a $500 award, and this year's recipient is Zoe Bergman. Congratulations. Thank you. So Zoe is a second year MS student conducting her research at Blandy uh, on the invasive shrub Dahurian buckthorn. So her advisor, Howie Epstein, says that Zoe has been a highly energetic and enthusiastic researcher conducting two summer field season seasons at Blandy, a fall winter litter decomposition study, a greenhouse experiment, and a GIS remote sensing analysis on her way to a very comprehensive MS thesis that she hopes to defend this summer. Her thesis should hope to should should hopefully lead to some very exciting publications on this invasive plant species. And Howie says she also seems to have lots of pets. So, <laughs> so we can congratulate uh, Zoe again on her award. 
Thank you. Sure. Okay, so the next award is the Graduate Award in Hydrology. So sponsored by the department, this award recognizes the outstanding graduate student who has completed a full year in the department whose area of interest and focus within environmental sciences is hydrology. So this award is in the amount of $500 and the recipient is Kaylee Granville. I knew you were gonna win something, Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> So Kaylee's research is developing novel approaches using the underwater aquatic eddy covariance technique, working with Peter Berg to measure gas fluxes to and from shallow coastal bays. She will use it to determine greenhouse gas emissions from seagrass meadows at the Virginia Coast uh, Reserve long-term ecological research site. And so in this past year, she's also played an important role as the graduate student representative on the diversity, equity, and inclusion committees of both the department and the LTR. So let's congratulate Kaylee again on her award. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so then we next up is the graduate award in atmosphere. So sponsored by the department, this award recognizes the outstanding graduate student who's completed a full year in the department whose area of interest and focus within environmental sciences is the atmospheric sciences. So the amount of this award is $500 and the recipient of this year's award is Madeline Miles. Congratulations, Thank you. Madeline. So in her first two years, Madeline has nearly completed a manuscript for publication in which she calculates emission fluxes of nitrogen oxide air pollution in 20 large and small cities across uh, West Africa. She's working with Sally Pacetti and she has advanced current techniques to infer fluxes from column concentrations, testing her own methods to separate overlapping nitrogen dioxide plumes to distinguish emission sources within urbanized areas. So Madeline gave an oral presentation this year at AGU and received a Virginia Space Grant Graduate Research Award for this work. As part of a larger collaboration with colleagues in Dakar, Senegal, Madeline processed local satellite data for comparisons with ground-based column measurements for work led by graduate students there in Senegal. So let's uh, congratulate Madeline again on her award. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so next up is the Jay Zeman Research Publication Award. So all graduate students in all disciplines in the department are eligible for this award as long as they have submitted a manuscript for publication in a peer-reviewed journal as first and corresponding author during the year prior to the award, this award ceremony. So the submitted manuscript must also pertain to research conducted within the Environmental Science Department as a graduate student. So this award is in the amount of $1,000, um, and this year's recipient of the award is Angelique Demetio. So in Angelique's paper... I'm finding her. <laughs> yes, all right. All right, there we go. Done. <laughs> Congratulations. So Angelique's paper is entitled Observing Nitrogen Dioxide Air Pollution Inequality Using High Resolution Remote Sensing Measurements in Houston, Texas. And it was published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology. So this paper represents the first use of high spatial resolution airborne remote sensing to describe nitrogen dioxide air pollution inequality. Angelique uses these aircraft observations to conduct a detailed analysis of whether the recently launched satellite sensor TROPOMI can resolve intra-urban intra nitrogen dioxide disparities. Angelique also observationally constrains the contribution of very toxic heavy duty diesel emissions to air pollution inequality across Houston. So her advisor, Sally Pacetti says that this is a remarkably thorough analysis and major technical feat that will greatly advance the use of satellite remote sensing to study intra-urban air quality and to inform environmental justice issues. So the journal Environmental Science and Technology prepared a press release for this article, and the work was also covered in the American Chemical Society's Chemistry and Engineering News. So let's uh, congratulate Angelique again on her award. Thank you. Sure. 
Okay, and then next we have the Fred Holmesley Moore Teaching Award. So Mr. Moore shared the department's belief that outstanding service by graduate teaching assistants should be fostered and recognized. This award is based on student evaluations of the TA, diversity of laboratories taught, and the creativity and ability of the graduate student to not only successfully convey information, but to instill excitement, wonder, and confidence. So this year's teaching award is in the amount of $1,000, and the recipient is Kelsey Hulsman. Congratulations, Kelsey. Oh, man, thank you. <laughs> According to her advisor, Howie Epstein, Kelsey has been an exceptional graduate teaching assistant for us in environmental sciences, as well as for the environmental thought and practice major. She has taught discussion, laboratory sections, or provided lecture support in nine of the 10 semesters that she has been at UVA, covering six different classes, and she receives exuberant praise from faculty and students alike. A common sentiment on her teaching evaluations is that Kelsey is, quote, the best TA I've ever had at UVA. Themes of the, her comments on her teaching evaluations focus on Kelsey's superb, superb clarity, organizational skills, and passion for teaching and for her students. Howie says that she's highly deserving of this award and has provided a great service for our department. So congratulations, Kelsey. Thank you so much. Those were the kindest words. You're very welcome. Okay, so lastly here, we have the research awards. So these will not be a surprise because they're printed in the bulletin, but we'd like to acknowledge uh, those, those of uh, graduate students that were, were providing funds uh, to fund their summer research uh, opportunities in the coming year. So the first one of these awards is the Michael Garstang Award. Um, this award supports graduate student research in interdisciplinary atmospheric sciences. The amount is $1,500. The recipient is David Crow. Uh, his project is exploring updrafts and boundary layer structure over complex terrain using a novel glider based experiment sc scheme. Okay, the next award is the Jefferson Conservation Award. This award recognizes exceptional research of doctoral graduate students in or related to the environmental sciences. The award may be offered to individuals whose research contributes to the understanding of the dynamics of ecological habitats. This may be by providing scientific data that promotes the management design of balanced habitats or developing an understanding of changes in habitat or species that affects the viability of ecosystems. In addition to the monetary award, which in, for this year is $5,000 for this research award, the book Notes on the State of Virginia by Thomas Jefferson is also pre presented to the award winner. So this year's award winner is Jacob Malcolm, uh, and his project is entitled Assessing the Influence of Soil-Based Cations on Water Use Efficiency of White Ash. Okay. And then we have, finally, we have some additional research awards here. These are all exploratory awards. These awards are made possible by an endowment created by, again, Fred Holmesley Moore during the 1970s. Uh, the Moore Research Awards are based on merit and were initiated in the early 1980s to help sponsor the dissertation and thesis work of grad students in our department. The students submit proposals um, to the Graduate Academic Review Committee. Um, who review and evaluate them. And we recognize both master's and doctoral level students in supporting uh, their research. So we have four uh, awards, which I'll announce, and then we can kind of congratulate everybody here at the end. Um, each award is in the amount of roughly $1,500. Um, so the first award is to uh, Jamima El Shabini, um, whose project is Do Pollination status and reward status affect volatile emission and honest signals in minimalists. Uh, the second award is to Kaylee Granville, whose project is benthic metabolism and gas exchange in temperate seagrass meadows. The third award is to Kyler Kearns, whose project is thermal vulnerability and resilience of seagrass in a coastal lagoon system. And then the final award is to Megan McAuliffe, 
whose project is the impact of land surface heterogeneities on atmospheric flows and boundary layer structure over mountainous terrain. So let's uh, congratulate all of our graduate award winners again. So that concludes uh, the awards for the graduate students this year. I will now hand it over uh, to the department chair, Howie Epstein, who will present the departmental awards. Thank you, Kevin. So um, as you saw, I was having a little uh, trouble spotlighting everybody, even when I wasn't the presenter. So I'm going to apologize in advance. Uh, I may not, uh, I may not be able to handle the spotlights and the uh, and the presenting at the same time, but I'll try it. So uh, before we present the next uh, the next awards, I'd like to recognize the following faculty members. Um, Kevin, I'm not, I'm seeing you. Are you seeing, are people seeing me? Okay, good. All right, great. Um, so I'd like to recognize the following faculty members. Patricia Weiberg was one of four UVA professors elected as a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science in, in 2020. So congratulations to uh, Professor Weiberg on that great achievement. Uh, the UVA Democracy Initiative has selected a new democracy lab to launch in August 2021. Uh, Sally Pusedi is one of the leaders of this new lab. Uh, it's called the Repair Lab, Racial Justice and Environmental Policy Initiative, uh, identifying racial justice and climate change as intertwined and urgent challenges facing democracies today. Uh, the project will support democracy by deepening our understanding of the causes, consequences, and potential responses to environmental and climate injustice locally and around the world. Six environmental sciences faculty were selected to receive Three Cavaliers funding. Uh, Three Cavaliers is a seed funding initiative sponsored by the Office of the Vice President for Research and the Office of the Provost. Uh, the research teams uh, must be made up of three faculty members from at least two disciplines, uh, departments or schools. And the environmental sciences faculty funded for 2021-22 are uh, Bob Davis, Heat Mortality, Mortality Displacement and SARS, um, Coronavirus 2, uh, Patricia Weiberg, Cavalier Caster Network, Sally Pusedi, Imaging the Invisible, Translations of Environmental Risk into Public Information, Larry Band, Centering Equity and Resilience in Urban Stream and Watershed Restoration. Deborah Lawrence, Compositing Poesi, Grass Assemblies for Architecture and Construction. And Manuel Lerdo, Variable Sawmilling, Multi-Axis Actuated Strategies for Non-Standard Timber. Uh, and finally, uh, I guess tooting my own horn because it's in the script here, <laughs> UVA's Arctic Research Center received a five-year a uh, $3 million grant from the National Science Foundation to design and monitor a network of integrated meteorological, aquatic, and geotechnical sensors uh, throughout Utkiagrik, Alaska, in a region uh, that's experiencing the effects of climate change. Uh, the data collected will assist the Arctic community in developing design guidelines for future buildings and infrastructure that increase community resilience while minimizing environmental impacts. Uh, the UVA Arctic Research Center is a collaboration of researchers from Arts and Sciences, uh, the Department of Environmental Sciences, the School of Architecture's Arctic Design Group, School of Engineering, and the School of Data Sciences. All right, so now moving on to awards. Um, the Environmental Sciences Organization, Organization, ESO, is composed of undergraduate students majoring in environmental sciences. Today, ESO would like to recognize a member of the department who, through their efforts, has been particularly helpful to the undergraduate majors. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to the ESO co-president, Jennifer Vance, who's going to present the award. Hi everyone, I'm Jenna Vance. Um, this year's ESO award is going to a student that has committed many hours in order to provide academic and social support for members of ESO during this difficult semester, including helping me organize a book club and helping to create some new interesting meeting topics. On behalf of ESO, we would like to present the award to Caden Perry, a third year double majoring in biology and environmental sciences with a concentration in conservation. Thank you.
great. Uh, congratulations, Caden, and thank you, Jenna. The, uh, the Graduate Student Association in the Department of Environmental Sciences has recognized members of the department who, through their efforts, have been particularly helpful to the graduate student body. While there are many in the department who are of great aid to the graduate students, the GSA award is annually given to the person whom the graduate students would like to thank for their special efforts throughout the year. Uh, Kelsey Hulsman, the president of the GSA is here to present the award, Kelsey. Thanks, Howie. I did not preface this in the same way that Jenna did. So I'm just gonna come right out and say who the award winners are and then why they are receiving this award. So this year's Graduate Student Association Award goes to Kaylee Granville and Miriam McKenzie. And some of the responses that came from the Graduate Student Association were that all of these nominees were powerhouses, so it was a difficult choice. But Marion and Kaylee have worked so hard and been integral in pushing our department's DEI, that's diversity, equity, and inclusion, work forward. They have shown great dedication, passion, and empathy while working toward improving diversity, equity, and inclusion within our department. And this award is well deserved. Um, congratulations. And thank you. <laughs> All right, now I get to give uh, I get to give out two awards. The the chair's award. Uh, this award was established to recognize an individual or group of individuals who has performed extraordinary service to the department. Uh, this year, the the chair award is presented to two groups uh, for their work on diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts in the department. Uh, the recipient of the chair's award this year are uh, the DEI committee led by Matthew Reidenbach and the uh, urge pod led by uh, Stephen Mako. Uh, the DEI committee has been working tirelessly to, uh, among other things, assist the department in developing a new mission, vision, and value statement and a code of conduct uh, that are now displayed on our department website. Uh, maybe a bit more under the radar, the unlearning racism in the geosciences group has facilitated challenging discussions and developed a set of deliverables for the department to use to address issues of equity, diversity, and justice. Uh, we ha have a long way to go as a department, but uh, we've made great progress during this academic year thanks to these two groups. Uh, so thank you to all of uh, the members of, uh, of, the, of the, the DEI committee and the URGE uh, group. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, the Tice Prize. Uh, this award is presented to a faculty member in, a, in recognition of research excellence. Uh, this year, actually, the award is being presented to two faculty members. And uh, the award is, uh, is for $1,500. And they do not have to split the award. They will each get $1,500. And this year's recipients of the Tice Prize are Sally Pusedi and Shi Yang. Sally Pusedi had eight publications this year, including papers in reviews of geophysics and global change biology. Uh, she received a NASA New Investigator Award and an NSF Career Award, in addition to the New Democracy Initiative that uh, re the Repair Lab um, that I mentioned earlier uh, to continue her research on atmospheric pollutants and inequality. Uh, so congratulations, Sally, for a great year. Um, Shi Yang had 14 publications this year, including papers in uh, nature communications and remote sensing of the environment on, uh, on forest ecology and estimating plant productivity using solar induced fluorescence. Uh, he also is currently um, working on um, awards that he has received from uh, both NASA and the National Science Foundation on studying uh, productivity in, in in boreal forests of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, Professor Yang achieved the highest Scanlan index for the department this year, also known as the Scandex or, or the S factor more commonly uh, this year among our faculty. And so uh, congratulations, Xi. And congratulations to both of you. Okay. Now on to our premier uh, student award. 
the Environmental Sciences uh, Student Excellence Award. Uh, this is the premier prize awarded in the Department of Environmental Sciences, established by Dr. F. Gordon Tice in 1992. The purpose of the prize is to foster environmental research and scholarship and to recognize and honor the outstanding undergraduate or graduate student for their contributions to environmental science, their ability to communicate their findings and their implications uh, to better understanding our environment. The amount of the award is $5,000 and I'm going to try to find this person so that I can spotlight them, found them. And the winner of the award is uh, Kate LaCroix. Um, so sit back, relax while I tell you a little story about Kate LaCroix. Um, Kate LaCroix studied the population trajectories of native and invasive uh, mason bee species during her dissertation research. While her research highlighted her ability to articulate and pursue scientific questions, work out intricate analytical approaches to spatial statistics and write manuscripts, it highlighted even more uh, what one can accomplish through the powers of collaboration. So how does one take samples simultaneously across an entire state? How does one process samples in a dissertation uh, that would take a decade to examine? Uh, Kate built a network of 203 community scientists around the Commonwealth to set up bee nesting boxes and insect traps, uh, make observations, take photos, pluck dead insects from cups, bag them and store them for months in home freezers. Uh, she met them in their driveways, shared tea on their porches, gave talks to their garden clubs. To process the specimens that came in, she recruited 31 undergraduates that she carefully trained and mentored, letting experienced ones become the trainers for the next ones, and then showing them opportunities for their own next steps, writing letters of recommendation for new programs or grants or graduate school. Uh, it's hard to measure such impact directly on both the public and undergraduate community, um, but one metric will lend itself to scrutiny. Uh, when Kate gives her final seminar, count the number of little Zoom boxes that show up on the screen. Uh, you may, UVA may think it's a denial of service attack, but no, it will be Kate's minion showing up to see her one last time to uh, share her dissertation work with everyone. Um, congratulations on this award, Kate. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, a few other things before, before I wrap up. The, oh, a reminder, Dave mentioned this at the beginning, but award winners will be contact, contacted early next week by Cindy Allen to arrange for uh, distribution of uh, their prizes. So the awards committee this year uh, and last year, and likely the year before that, was chaired by Professor Janet Herman, who is retiring after this semester and taught her final class in the department on Wednesday uh, please join me in thanking Professor Herman for her nearly four decades of teaching research and service in the field of environmental sciences and for the University of Virginia. Uh, feel free to unmute, unmute and give a little whoop whoop for, uh, for Professor Herman. I can, yeah, I Professor Herman. If I can find her, I'll spot her. I can't find her. There she is. I got her. I got her. There we go. Just a little spotlight. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for- You're your, welcome. And thank you for your final chairmanship of the awards committee. Congratulations to the award winners. Awesome. All right. Wrapping it up. Um, I know this has been a challenging year, uh, but as you can see, uh, we did not take our collective feet off of the accelerator of our electric vehicles, of course. Uh, we worked as hard uh, as ever uh, we had an extremely productive year and our achievements were exceptional. Uh, I wanna thank all of you for everything you do to make this a great department. Congratulations to all of our award winners and all of our graduates. Uh, we will have a, uh, a virtual recorded graduation ceremony for you all uh, that will be released on the day that, on the, on the date of, of your graduation, which is May, I believe 22nd. Um, some of you may be walking that day from the lawn to the to Scott Stadium. So we'll have that for you. Uh, have a great finals week, any, everybody, and a really wonderful summer. And, uh, and thank you all. And I think that concludes our program for today. Bye, everybody.
Bye, everyone. Nice job, Howie.